Hi guys, I'm Supercarsboss3105 and welcome to my top supercars of 2014. This video is just going to be, yeah, basically the top supercars that I've seen this year. So we've got a few pictures starting off like the Lamborghini Vezador, Ferrari Enzo, F40, F50, the Lamborghini Huracan as you can see here, or Huracan, however you pronounce it, BMW i8, and some of these pictures you won't have seen before like this one, the 288 GTO, because I took these at the Revival and didn't actually do any videos on those at all. Again, like this Ferrari FXX. That was a pretty cool car to see. But we've got all sorts of cars in this video, you can see in the pictures. And yeah, just going to be going through having a look at the best cars that I've seen this year. Also, um, thank you very much to my subscribers for subscribing to me, obviously. And... Uh, hopefully you guys will stay around in 2015 because 2015 is going to be a pretty epic year we're hopefully going to go to Goodwood again we're probably going to go to the Revival, where? The Revival again and also going to do some other supercar events maybe but let's get into the videos with the first video of the Koenigsegg 1-1 this was a sick car to film absolutely amazing moving on then to the McLaren P1 one of my favorite cars ever made it is absolutely amazing seen six or seven of them now pretty happy then on to my favorite of the three new hybrid supercars the Ferrari LaFerrari this is an absolute beast of a car then the last one of the uh, hybrid cars is the 918 Spider pretty amazing then we go on to a Pagani Huayra which I actually saw this yellow one on the road which was pretty insane I didn't get much of a video of it because I was too excited to uh, film but I managed to get a small video then we go on to a Ferrari F40 which I actually saw on the same day a Ferrari F40 on the road in Milford absolutely mental I saw this car in the morning and didn't manage to get a film of it which I was quite annoyed about. Then we go on to the Bugatti Veyron. Now this is actually a pretty mental car. I've never seen one before apart from that one. And I was really excited to see it. Here's a little engine shot. The uh, massive 16.4 engine. Which is absolutely amazing. Then we go on to the Ferrari Enzo. Now this is also one of my favourite cars. I absolutely love this car to bits. And I'm so glad I've seen it. I've actually seen this Ferrari Enzo three times. Because I've been up to Romans International three times. And the, that same car has been there every single time. It belongs to one of the people who actually owns Romans. So it's quite convenient really. But yeah. Then we come on to one of the fastest cars ever produced a McLaren F1, now this was actually going up to the Goodwood Revival, I did see that car at the Revival and I was, um, yeah it was just in Milford and I was uh, filming it, so yeah also that day in the afternoon I saw another Porsche 918 Spider that was pretty cool to film and then we got up to the Alpha 8C Spider, now this I have seen only three of these cars, seen as there's only 500 worldwide, but I saw one on the road and two on the same day. This one here, and if you see my Maranello Egum, uh, Maranello Egum showroom video, I saw a white one in there too. Then we come on to my favourite supercar, the Lamborghini Aventador. I absolutely love this car. This car I've been like crazy about since it first came out in 2011. The 700 horsepower top speed 217 miles an hour 0 to 60 2.9 seconds and it was absolutely insane to see not one but two there and one of them was a roadster which is even cooler but yeah this is absolutely brilliant it was in the per the uh, perfect spec of that you have to have a Lamborghini in in my eyes the uh, coupe was it was in it's in orange with the black rims which is pretty mental and the Roadster as well, absolutely brilliant car, love that thing, it's in the grey with black wheels slightly different, there's a nice shot of the exhaust there making flames, it's such a nice car, makes such a good sound as well but yeah, pretty mental car indeed and yeah, quite happy I saw two on that day I've actually seen that orange Aventador twice I saw it at Romans again because it was at Romans the last time I went up which was pretty mental I just love the way the lights look, I love the way the car looks I like the wheel shape I love the massive air ducts which you can see down the side and I also love the massive engine inside and yeah, me just pointing to the rim there 
uh, the rim, the wing, I should say. I love the glass engine cover as well, that's pretty cool. And I like the way on the Roadster they've split it in two, which is actually pretty awesome. But yeah, there's a nice shot of the uh, 6.8 or 6.5 litre V12 engine. Pretty cool. And yeah, just have a nice little shot of the engine again. I also like the way the doors pop up. Lamborghinis have always had mental doors. If you remember on the Espada, it opened Gullwing style and on the Countach and the um, Diablo and the Murcielago, they always opened like scissor doors, which was pretty insane. And I like the way that, unlike the Murcielago, where you had to fit the roof yourself, well, you still have to fit the roof yourself uh, on the Roadster one for the Aventador, but it's just two panels and not like a, a cloth roof. Anyway, though, on the same day as I saw those two Aventadors, I also saw another one of my favourite Ferraris, this F50 here. It's the only F50 I've ever seen, and I saw my fourth F40. They were sitting right next to each other in Maranello. Pretty insane car. I know in the video of this car I said that both of them had V12 engines, well I actually found out that they don't, the FF, uh, FF, F12 has a, F12, what am I on about, F50 has a V12 engine and the F40 has a twin turbocharged V8, which is, I thought it would have a, a twin I, uh, I thought it would have a V12 like the F50, but the massive rims and the huge rear spoiler on it just make the F50 perfect. It looks pretty cool. I've heard all these bad comments about it, about like um, it feels like you've got a V12 strapped to your spine and everything, but I really don't care. It looks mental. Along to the F40, this is probably the granddad of all supercars. Absolutely mental. First Ferrari, I believe, to break the 200 mile an hour speed, uh, 200 mile an hour speed top speed. It actually did 201, but this car was, like I said in the video, made for lightness, so it doesn't actually have any door handles. It's got wind up windows. It's got a huge rear spoiler like the F50, and it looks. I, I think the back looks better on the F40 than the F50 but I still prefer the F50 overall plastic engine cover with the massive V8 in it about to say V12 again, it's not got a V12 I love the rims on the F40 as well, they were taken from the 288 GTO I believe and it looks insane this car there's a nice shot of the two cars together pretty mental seeing those I, that was also the day I saw that Enzo as well I only needed to see a 288 and I'd seen the lot oh yeah and a LaFerrari if you count that but yeah, I'm fi on to the final video of the um, video, we come to the Maserati MC12. Now I saw this uh, about a week and a half ago, and yeah, no words really needed to describe it. It is huge. Six metres long, or thereabouts. Huge rear spoiler, based on the Enzo. Looks insane, sounds insane, is insane basically. But everywhere you look, like I said in the video, it looks like the Enzo, like the the um, grills or the, or the vents on the bonnet. It looks pretty cool. It's got no rear window, and it's got a random scoop on top. But it's got an Enzo next to it as well, which is pretty cool, so I could compare the two. But I'd still have the Enzo over the MC-12, I think. But it's huge rear diffuser, look at that. I mean, it's mental. And then the exhaust wheels, like I said in the video, I don't know where I was going with that. But I also I prefer the interior of the MC12, even though the uh, previous owner had put a um, um, a sat nav system on the dash. But it's got all the Maserati stuff, like the clock, which I've just mentioned there. And yeah, this one, they uh, most of the MC12s were finished in this uh, cream and blue colour which I think actually looks awesome but there's a couple of matte black ones around the world and the uh, MT12 courses and race cars are all different colours but this this particular MT12 came from Russia it's done about four and a half thousand miles on the clock and yeah it looks pretty insane and just explain that there's no 
cover over the lights there, which I thought was pretty weird, to be honest. Let me know in the comments what you think. If it, is it weird or is it cool? Dunno, but the way this car looks is just mental. It's a nightmare to drive, a nightmare to park, but I don't care, it looks insane. And yeah, pretty cool car, to be honest. I always think that the uh, grill looks like it's smiling, which is a good thing because I like this car, and I, I would smile if I had one as well. <laughs> but yeah, pretty mental year of cars, seeing some of these. And yeah. So anyway guys, I'm going to slowly end this video now. Thank you very much for watching this video and thank you very much for subscribing if you have subscribed. Please subscribe if you're not already. 2015 will be a mental year as well as 2014. And I thank you guys a lot for helping me along this journey. And I will see you in 2015. Have a happy new year. Cheers guys.